I'm not hanging off the edge of this roof for my dear life. I'm actually standing on the lower roof uh, beneath me, so don't worry. But I want to talk to you today about this ridge vent. So we're working on other parts of the roof. We're going to move up here shortly. This ridge vent was existing. So this is a three inch gap at the apex of the roof. So the, the peaks of the roof, the ridge, and that's going to allow uh, hot air that rises up in this attic or rises up in the house to exhaust out of this gap. So there's usually a vent over this. So that'll allow air to exhaust up and out the top of the roof, but no ice water animals to get in. But the problem becomes, this is an exhaust method, uh, or an exhaust mechanism of a roofing system. So this allows air out. But we installed a new roof mounted attic fan here. So this is also an exhaust product. So this is going to, this is activated via like a thermostat or a humidistat. So when the temperature in the attic, in the attic gets too hot, or if it gets too humid, too moist up there, this is gonna turn on and that's gonna pull in the air and suck in the air and exhaust it out through the fan. Now the problem becomes, you want this fan to pull air, to torque air from all around the attic. So if I was an air molecule over there, if I was an air molecule over there, you want it to ventilate the entire attic. But if we leave this ridge vent exposed, if we leave this ridge vent open, the easiest place for this fan to pull in air from is this three inch gap right next to it. So when this turns on and it starts pulling air, instead of pulling air from all around the attic, it's just gonna pull air from this ridge vent because that's the easiest spot for it to do so. So all the ventilation in this roofing system is gonna happen right here in this space. So the air is gonna move a lot here. It's gonna pull in the air from the ridge vent exhaust it out here, it's gonna suck it back in. It's literally like a doom loop. It's just gonna, there's gonna be a lot of ventilation happening in this space and not in the rest of your attic. So what we're gonna do is, we're almost done installing the fan. We got a shingle around it, but, and I put ice and water shield too. But when we're done with that, we're gonna close up this ridge vent. So we're gonna cover the ridge, this, this opening right here with ice and water shield. So this is the ice and water shield that's gonna go on top of this ridge vent. So this is a, it's a waterproof membrane but it's also non-breathable. So it kind of serves, unintentionally serves the function of, if we put this on top of that ridge vent opening, no more air is gonna be able to come out. So we installed the ice and water shield on top of this, and then we're gonna start putting the caps, the ridge caps on top of that. So that way the air here is going to be closed. No more air will be able to get out of the ridge vent. So now the roof mounted attic fan can be the sole provider of all that exhaust ventilation.